truly humbles me in some of the things that he has done. Um, he's he Alexander is probably one of the most honorable, integra, integrity, integrable, integrity, integrable, but uh, has the most integrity of, of any student that I've seen, and and, and at this level, you know, of uh, middle school level where they're trying to figure themselves out, it's. Um, it's, it's, it's truly inspiring. And I have to say that I have out of my own, I have a biological child that's, that's in their grade level and in their class. Um, so, you know, you were saying that as far as the parents, I'm thinking, yeah, what are you doing? Because I like a little of that. I mean, my daughter is great. Um, but but it, is, it is really special to see some of the things that they've done. Um, the, the biggest thing, and I'm going to read um, what we wrote about Alexander, but Alexander shared with our class um, a trial that he had as a, as a young child. I think he was two, and um, where he had to spend an, an enormous amount of time at Children's Hospital, and it was really a um, difficult time period. And he has used that experience and that trial to really have a ministry and become a, and use it as a mission and he raises thousands of dollars that I'm going to talk about out of that but that to me that that character that you know you could take something that that could really have you down or <coughs> struggle to survive and to turn it around and use it to benefit all the other kids you know I can't look at you Susie because you're going to make me cry when you, <laughs> I'm trying to look over there okay um so why I, you know, these are, these are many reasons as to why I, I, I um, would like to honor and, and nominate Alexander, but I'm going to read um, the other things that he's done as well. He participates in Boy Scouts of America through his church. He is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The young men at church are encouraged to earn their Eagle Scout Award before they get their driver's license. They have wonderful scout leaders who help them accomplish this. Service is a major part of who we are as Latter-day Saints. Alexander seems to take every opportunity available through our church to help others. With the youth from church, he has fed the homeless at the Ventura County Rescue Mission. He's helped make quilts and has been given to those in need throughout the world. He has volunteered in countless Eagle Scout projects with other young men anywhere from helping to collect clothes for an orphanage in Mexico to cleaning a repairing horse stalls at Rancho St. Francis Animal Rescue here in the Santa Rosa Valley. Alexander loves being a Boy Scout and has been involved in the scouting program since he was eight. He is already planning his Eagle Scout project. He is going to collect all the necessities for personal hygiene kits and send them to Sierra Leone in Africa. His goal is to put together 5,000 kits. When his pe pediatrician got wind of this, he mentioned to Alexander that he went to Sierra Leone each year as a volunteer with his son through Doctors Without Borders and has invited Alexander to go along with him to personally deliver his high school. Alexander's goal is to accomplish this by his 14th birthday. There is a saying that his mother made up. It is, if you see the need, act with speed. And Alexander has taken this to heart and made it an intricate part of who he is. He never complains when it comes to service. In fact, he's usually the first one to dive in and help with all his heart, might, mind, and strength. He knows who God is and considers him <coughs> his closest friend. Alexander's willingness to serve has always been since he was a boy. Ever since he was little, he has enjoyed the company of the elderly. Several times a month, he and his father, Mike, go to a nursing home here in Camarillo to visit. He also spends time volunteering at the animal shelter. When he was six years old, he started an annual lemonade stand on Thanksgiving morning to raise money for sick children at the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. He has also raised money for the Ronald McDonald House. He has been asked to be a guest speaker three to four times at three or four events for these two organizations, 
motivating others to give of themselves. And since he started this quest in fundraising, he's raised over $20,000. Oh. Yeah. Alexander likes to set and achieve goals. One of his goals this past summer was to climb Half Dome in Yosemite. So in July, a week before he turned 11, he and his father ascended to the top. Next summer, he wants to climb Mount Whitney. He is pure adventure. He has learned to snowboard, scuba dive, water ski, and kayak down white water rapids. He plays the piano and is working toward his black belt in Taekwondo. He also loves to sing and dance. He has participated in Cinemagic for the past five years and learns the songs and dances in about two seconds flat. He has a soft heart and a strong will and a funny personality, great sense of humor. And he is never embarrassed to express his love for others. Um, I just like to thank my parents for taking me to to do all these fun events that I that I like to do, give to charity to, and I just like to thank my teachers and um, the Optimus Club for nominating me. This is a so much good things about me. <laughs> and um, I, I know that Children's Hospital isn't here, but I'd really like the, to thank the Children's Hospital for, to, for helping me to get better.